Ballamurphy is an area of West Belfast on high ground rising up to the hills that surround much of the city. In 1971, soldiers were already on the streets, the army seeing itself largely in a peacekeeping role between Protestant and Catholic communities. In August that year, the Stormont government moved to quell the mounting violence on the streets. So on the morning of the 9th of August, what's known as internment began, arrests and detentions without trial. The reaction took the authorities by surprise. There were bombings, shootings, riots and demonstrations across Northern Ireland and there were many shots fired in and around the Ballymurphy area. Ten people died as a direct result of being shot in five separate incidents. Heavily implicated were two battalions of the Parachute Regiment and other units. In one incident, two men, including a Catholic priest, were shot and killed, a priest known and admired by the soldiers. In another, three men and a woman died as a result of shooting outside an army base. At the time, the army said it shot and killed gunmen. The families of all the Ballamurphy victims insist their relatives were not handling or firing guns, but were entirely innocent. The relatives said the deaths weren't properly investigated at the time, and 40 years later the Attorney General in Northern Ireland ordered new inquests. In 2018 the hearings began, and were really 10 inquests rolled into one. Over the course of more than a year, a judge heard from civilians, soldiers, ballistic experts and pathologists about the 10 deaths with a view to finally getting to the truth. <laughs>